Hey guys, welcome to your YouTube channel. We will talk all about the gate exam, studying the operating system, CPU schedule algorithm, round robin CPU schedule algorithm, and the previous year gate questions. In this video, we are going to solve the gate 2012 question. And this question will not only make you revise round robin, also the first come first sub. So we are going to solve it for two algorithms. And the question is right here. Let me just read it out for you. Consider the three processes P1, P2, P3 given right here. You have three processes P1, P2, P3, their arrival time and their burst time requirement. Now the question says the completion order of three processes of the three processes P1, P2, P3 under first come first sub and round robin 2 with the time quantum 2 algorithm R. Certainly it's one of the very easy question and here are the options. Why I have mentioned options right here is because you know the one of the algorithm is first come first serve. So because we know whichever process comes first. I mean for that matter I don't even need to solve the question. I know whichever process is coming first will be executed first. The next coming will be executed next and the last coming will be executed last. So if I just have to tell you the first come first serve order, I easily know what is the completion order. First P1, then P2 and then P3. If I just have to put it in the chart also, here you can see at the time 0 we have process P1, right, for the CPU and it runs for the 0 to 5, finishes, then comes P2 which takes 7, so 5 plus 7 is nothing more than 12 and then lastly comes P3 which takes 4, so 12 plus 4, 16. So this is the simplest GAN chart for the first come first serve which simply say that the order of completion is going to be P1, P2, P3. And why I mentioned uh, the uh, options right here because by looking at the option without solving anything in the question you can just eliminate them. You see the option A, FCFS, P1, P2, P3, fine. For B, P1, P3, P2, not possible, right? Similarly for D, P1, P3, P2, not possible at all. Now let's quickly find out the completion time for the processes using the round robin algorithm. And we also know that the time quantum given to us is 2, alright? So let's have the ready queue status. Initially at the time 0, we have just process 1 in the ready queue and here is my CPU on the GAN chart. So that will make it easier. So at the, at the time 0, I just have P1 in the ready queue. So I just executed and the quantum is 2. So it's going to take 2 and you will just simply cut this off. Right? Right. By the time 2, we have P2 in the system. So P2 will come and sit in the ready queue. Correct? P1 has executed one of its cycle. P2 goes and P1 needs more. So it comes after P2. Now P2 again only for 2 quantum. So 2 plus 2, 4 makes it 5. This is 5. Right? P2 done up to 2 to 4. We got P3 also. So P3 also comes in the queue. And P2 needs more. So it goes at the end of the queue. You all have done it so much, so much number of times. Let me just do it the same way. And now we have all the three process. Just look at here. P1, it needs 3. 4 plus 2, 6. Needs one more, one more. P3 needs 4, becomes 2. 6 plus 2, 8. Needs more, needs more. Next, P2, P2. None of the process have finished yet, right? Right. So P2, how much you need? 5. So it becomes 3. 10. Needs more, needs more. Now, P1, how much you need? It needs just 1 and it becomes 0. So that is 10 plus 1, 11. Now the first process to get finished is P1. So here, the first completed process is P1. So in the order we are going to have P1 at the first. But we have to finish for getting all of them. So P1 is done. Next is P3. Let's take P3 P1. P3 how much you need? 2 becomes 0. 11 plus 2, 30. It's finished. Right? So next in order is P3. Now I don't have to do furthermore also. In the exam, that's it. Now P2 but I will do here. P2 needs 3, so that simply says up to 15 and here up to 16. This is how P2 also gets finished. So last two finish this P2. So what is the completion order? P1, P3, P2. 
for the round robin and the completion order for this is p1 p2 p3 which matches with the option number c the, as simple as that and this question have come for the two marks so why to lose that right so i hope this is very clear and this is all for the practice purpose so whoever is done with the scheduling algorithms trying to solve the previous year grade question can directly come up here and find all the questions right here i'll see you once again very soon in the next video till then bye bye take care